Hi guys and welcome to our latest video. Today we're going to be talking about all of your different sink options in the kitchen but before we get into it don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and let us know in the comments if there's anything in specific that you want to see in the future. Hi guys and welcome to our latest kitchen project. We have an ambrosia white course. What you guys love to see, the double door, pocket door loader. I have arrived at Letchworth today at our workshop. Hey mate, what's your YouTube channel? <laughs> <laughs> So the first sink option I want to discuss with you is called a sill granite or sometimes called a percorts. Now these are available from a range of suppliers like Blanco, like Franca, some of the bigger names that you know. And the real key selling point of these sinks is that they come in a number of colors. We're showing here this one in white, but it also comes in cream, in taupe, in black, in stone gray, all these different color options. Um, it is a really, really useful sink. They come in all the different sizes. This one shown is a 55 or 55 centimeter wide, fits a 600 unit um, and is fairly practical. I'm not, not going to say it's super practical because there is a risk of this stuff staining. It's not like porcelain, it's not like stainless steel, it, it can stain. It is scratch proof. Uh, you do, you know, it'll be pretty hard to scratch one of these things like it is with stainless steel, which scratches pretty much on day one. That's all part of the appeal. Uh, but in this case, it is a very useful sink. It's got rounded corners, which are quite nice. It means that your food's not getting stuck in the corner and then your brush can actually get in there and clear out the dirt. And all in all, it is a quite practical sink option as well as having obviously numerous color choices. In terms of price, I'd say it's about mid range, not too expensive, not too cheap but there are a number of suppliers that do this sort of sink, so you can do some shopping around and see what suits you the best. Next up, we have undermounted steel sinks. Now, obviously this is not steel, this is shown in brass, but the benefit with these sinks are they come in some good colors. So you've got stainless steel, brass, copper, and gun metal. This is from the 1810 company, which supplies a huge number of our sinks. They're a British company, very, very well made, and we really, really like the look and feel of this. The benefits are that it will last a long, long time. It doesn't stain, but as with any stainless steel or metal sink, it will scratch, but over time you won't notice it. It will just dull the original shine that is on there. And you can have a number of options with these sinks, including cladding all of the sides, so you just leave the metal base, which is a really, really cool look. You can get basket wastes and strainers to match the color of the sink, which is obviously a really, really appealing thing. And in terms of sizes, it comes in a number of sizes, all the way from a 200 wide, to 700 wide, 70 centimeters, which is shown here, which is a lovely big sink. You can definitely get all your big baking trays in there after you've used them in the oven. In terms of pricing, I would say this is probably slightly higher of the middle point uh, in terms of the market. You do pay a bit more for these, but again, they last a long, long time and they are super hard wearing. The final option we have in terms of sinks are ceramic sinks. So we typically buy all of our ceramic sinks from Shores, again, another English brand, very, very well-made ceramic sinks. Now this is shown in an undermount configuration, but typically the ceramic sinks that you will see are butler sinks, which means that you can see the front apron from the front of the kitchen. But this is sort of a more modern look, so we aren't showing it like that. The ceramic sinks are typically a bit deeper than normal, and that's because they're just a bit more practical and they grew up around this farmhouse and uh, you know countryside living where you need deeper sinks. They come in a variety of sizes, 600, 800, even 1,000, which you can't really buy in a stainless steel or other type of sink. So 1,000 wide, if you want a nice big sink that's almost like a bathtub, then ceramic undermount is the way to go. In terms of price, it is slightly more expensive than a stainless steel sink, and that's just due to the processes involved in manufacturing it. And it is a specific look. You probably wouldn't put one of these in a super modern kitchen. You're better off going with a stainless steel sink in that situation. They come in a number of options if you want a butler sink, i.e. as I mentioned, to see the front fascia rail, and you can get them fluted, you can get these in marble. There are loads of different options, but a white clean ceramic undermount sink is a really, really classic option for a traditional kitchen. In terms of practicality as well, very, very unlikely to stain during, due to the finishing process and it is fairly scratch resistant as well. So a really, really good option again. 